This man's website openly calls for the death of U.S. soldiers in the name of Allah. But Samir Khan refused to talk to us about how his militant Islamic site mobilizes people to jihad. The 22-year-old resident of this upscale Charlotte neighborhood reportedly runs his site from his parents' home. Called revolution.muslimpad.com, it posts daily messages of hate and violence directed toward non-believers, news of which outraged members of the local Muslim community. It's not uh, something that uh, uh, represents the thinking of the Muslim community at large. The site, written in English, posts videos of attacks on U.S. troops in Iraq, hails Osama bin Laden as a hero, and calls for a holy war against the West. Experts say what makes this site so unique is that it introduces radical ideas to a Western audience. This is the most sophisticated um, and aggressive website in English that I've seen. But not everyone disagrees with Khan's ideology. At this local Charlotte mosque, an acquaintance of Khan's agreed with his views on Iraq. Those messages that pertain to Iraq, I, I would agree with them. They are definitely Islamic. And although some neighbors were too scared to go on camera to talk about Khan for fear of retaliation, others, like Ron Williams, defended Khan's right to speak out. The courts give us a lot of latitude uh, in free speech, and it's the most valuable asset that we have. Recently, lawmakers told FoxNews.com that sites like Khan's, while troubling, are difficult to remove because they're protected under the right to free speech. Unless the site crosses the line from, quote, rhetoric to action, there is little anyone can do. In Charlotte, North Carolina, Christina Corbin, FoxNews.com.